me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Right now, I'm tighter than a nun's ass because my video cut off. And now, I'm talking about my episode 11. And right when I was getting to the gameplay, I ran out of space. But I'm going to show you guys the gameplay right now. So let me load up the map. And it was ZM, Zony, because we were covering the zones, doors, and zombies. So let me click on run. And let's check out how it went. There we go. Ready to boot up. Jeez, that sound is annoying, but okay. All right. Black Ops 3 is loading up. And here we go. Now, remember, if uh, in the video of episode 11, I was only able to do one or two zones. Now, if you want to make another zone, just uh, put the zone that you're in, and then you put the door that you're going into. Remember, you put a script flag. You give it the zone name, and that way it'll activate the zone. Now, we don't have lighting hooked up. That's why we're getting those little shaders, I guess. But as you can see, the zombies are working. Whoa. Kind of close there, buddy. All right, get back in. All right, now this is zone one. We're going to check it out. Here we go. And as soon as those zombies are done... It should start spawning more zombies. Now, we know that the zone worked. Because if I would have stepped into this area, uh, I would have died instantly. So let's just give it a second. There we go. And let me open up the third zone. Now, I did name the zone differently. This is actually zone 1. And this one's actually zone 3. But at least I... Um, put it in the scripts right so you can name the zones whatever you want but always try to you know keep them one two and three four five you know that way you don't get confused so there you can see the zombies are working got zombies coming from this angle and let's see now i'm in a different zone so they should start spawning over here also throw a grenade get rid of these guys Now, in my next video, I am going to go over stairs on how to make a catwalk, how to make stairs going up to a second floor, and also curves. Like, you see how this door frame is? I'm going to make it as a an arch door frame. So, I'm going to be showing you guys that. And, you know, within a day or two, I should be coming out with uh, how to make your own custom models. How to make custom textures for the walls, the floor, basically anything you want. And there's going to be quite a few videos, but you know, we're going in baby steps. Alright, let's see. Where you at, zombies? I'm ready for you. Ah, there you go. Oh, shit. I ain't got no ammo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cook it. Oh, shit. Should have put some guns in here. Alright, now, remember, I have a link to this dot map in case you didn't understand how to do the zones. And you can always put a door right over here. And it'll lead you to the other rooms. So put a door, give it a script flag. You know, change the information which I showed you in the video. And you should be good to go. You know, and that's how you make a map from scratch. Start putting in the box. Start putting in some perks. You know, do some blending like my other videos. And uh, put some models. I should also do a video on putting in foliage. Like trees and plants. And, you know, these mod tools are amazing, man. Can't wait to see what kind of maps we're going to be able to download. Like, doing these videos, I haven't had a chance to actually make a map at all. I've just been, you know, coming out with tutorials. But, you know, it's 
It's about that time for me to start working on my Walking Dead map. And I know it's going to be amazing, so I'm not rushing it. And I am going to show you guys how to import World at War maps. <clears throat> like, let's say if you've been working on World at War, and you have a map sitting in the back burner, and you want to port it over to Black Ops 3, I'm going to do a video on that too. So I pretty much got you guys covered. So if you like this video, hit that like button. You know, get the word out. And subscribe, fellas. Thanks for watching. Peace.